Okay guys, I'm making this video because I buy so many Bath and Body Works candles and I'm tired of them like burning out with a lot left in the bottom. So I wanna make a layered candle with all of them in it. Okay guys, this is the first layer that I've already made. I put it in the refrigerator and let it harden up. And I'm gonna show you how I did that with the other scents that we're gonna layer on top of it. So when you come over here, you can see that I've already got the second scent in the pot. We're gonna pour it in. We're gonna make the next layer. Just make sure that you do not splash it. You wanna keep your layers nice and even and flat in between. Okay, we've got it all poured in. Now, we're gonna have to put it back in and let it harden, but this is what it looks like so far. So make sure you move your wick over to the other side after each layer. That helps keep it in the middle until you get your candle full. And make like a hook so that it stays on the side from that side to that side now these are the candles that we're using the first layer is pumpkin apple the second layer is pumpkin spice latte then this layer is going to be our vampire blood now we're putting it in the pot we're going to turn it on you don't want your flame too high you're going to see what it does if you have it too high later in the video now add water to your pot as you see, the cup is small. You don't want more than an inch and a half of water, at least for this size pot that I'm using. Now, put the layer that you just poured in into the fridge so it can harden. For me, it was only taking about 10 minutes, but I guess for everybody, it can be different depending on how thick your layers are. Mine are very small. So let it set and let it harden. Now, while you're melting down each of your layers, by the time they're ready to go, the other one should be nice and chilled and hardened and ready for the next layer of your candle. So this one's ready. We're gonna get our candle out of the refrigerator because it should be hardened by now. All you have to do when you go and check it, just press on it. Now, it won't be fully hardened. It will be slightly able to press, but not much. Now, you're gonna move your wick over to the other side. It's gonna make a little mark in the middle. Just take your finger and smooth it out. Now that our next candle is melted down and ready to pour, we're gonna get it out. Make sure you use a pot holder. You don't wanna burn yourself, it's gonna be hot. Again, make sure you pour very slowly and don't pour it down your wick. Pour it in the sides, but do it slow that it doesn't splash up. You see how slow I'm pouring it. Just take your time and it works out good. And you see, I didn't get any on the wick at all. Now we're gonna add our last layer, cocoa and cream, because I really love this scent and they have it as a fall scent. Now let's put this one back in and let it harden up because if not, you're gonna mix your scents together and we don't want that. Now this one's a little different because it's a bigger candle Place it in your pot in the middle, and you're gonna have to add more water, a little bit more than an inch and a half because this is a bigger candle and we need it to go up higher. So you see I'm adding water, but again, the same amount as the other one. So we're probably about two and a half to three inches of water. Turn on your heat, but do not turn it very high. You're gonna see what happens because I wanted to show you guys if the heat is too high. This is what's gonna happen. It's going to eventually boil over. I didn't let mine boil over, but I let it get pretty high so that you could see. Once that happens, just turn your flame down, the water will lower, and everything will be fine. Now this candle is done, just like the other ones, but we have to do a little something to this one before we pour it into our candle, because it has bits of burned things in it, because it was a three wick candle and not a one wick. So I'm gonna show you, see? So we're going to use a strainer to strain all those bits out. Just put your candle down in your sink. We already have wax down in there. And move your wick to the side, because again, you don't want to pour it onto your wick. Sorry, you can't see this part because I needed help. I had to hold the strainer because my candle is so small. So my grandmother helped me and we poured it in. Now, you can see the bits in the strainer. They're really nasty and I did not want them in my candle because they probably wouldn't smell very good. Once you're done, 
You don't have to put your wick to one side because it will stand up because your candle is so full. See, look how nasty those little black bits are. Nobody would want that. Okay, this is what our candle looks like afterwards. So let's put it in the fridge, but go very slowly because I filled it, as you can see, up to the brim. I want as much in there as I could get. We're gonna let it chill for just as long as the other ones. And honestly, I let this one go for longer, about 20 minutes. This is what I was doing in the meantime. Me and my granny were playing Yahtzee because she loves to play it. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of it to pass some time while we wait for our candle. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something that was a little weird to me. On my previous game and this game, I got the same score for the top, 57. And then on the bottom, I got the same score for my chance, 27 and 27. How weird is that? Anyways, not going to put you through this for very long. I want to show you the winner. Of course, she kicked my butt like she usually does. This is her score. That's my score. And look at that. She kicked my butt. Okay, guys, this is our finished candle. I love it, and it smells amazing. Definitely looks different than when we started before it hardened up. The bottom layer is pumpkin apple, pumpkin spice latte, vampire blood, and hot cocoa and cream. And it smells amazing. But also, it does look a lot different, and that's okay. I wish it would have looked the same. But I don't like the fact that it has snowflakes on it. So we will change that later in the video. But let's cut our wick because we can't use it that long. Now you'll see, I cut it right even with the top of it because I let the scissors lay on it when I cut, but that was still too long. At least I think it was. So I'm going to recut it again to make it a little shorter because I don't want a super high flame. So there we go. That is the finished touch for the wick. Now, let's take our candle and let's cover it up. These are stickers that I got when I bought some, are they stock cards, but not the small ones with different designs? They came with these stickers and I didn't even know. By the way, it came from Amazon, so I will link everything in the description box for you because the wicks also came from Amazon. But I'm going to let you guys look at the stickers. I'm going to let you watch me put them on and I'm going to shut up and show you what it looks like lit. Please enjoy. Now you're gonna see I like this sticker a lot but it only went about a third of the way around when I put it on. And I was gonna leave it with just the one, but you'll see in the end that I decided to put two more around to completely cover the bottom, but they're three different stickers. And I noticed that I can turn it three different ways. One day I can have my candle saying something wicked this way comes, turn it the other way, it'll say haunted, turn it the other way it'll say something else and i thought that was really cute so i used three different stickers i just wanted to jump in here and let you know why i used three different ones and didn't leave it with just that one but in the end when it's in my candle holder you're going to see how the sticker shows and why i put three different ones that i can turn and change it each night
Okay, this is the finished candle in my candle holders that I had made just for Halloween. You can see the sticker right there showing through, and that's why I put three different ones so I can keep turning it. Let's light it, show you guys how it looks, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button to let me know so I can make more like this. And subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video. And hit that notification bell so you know when the next one comes. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.